Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. If you're new, then welcome to this channel. Well, I'm back with one more interesting Python project this time. In the previous video, we actually worked on the exercise of this VAT calculator using Python. If you go to the previous video, we actually worked on VAT calculator using Python. And I also explained them what is VAT and how this exactly works. And we also worked on the rates of the value added tax, the types of value added tax rates, and even we also worked on the how to calculate VAT, like how to add VAT and also how to remove VAT. You just have to follow these formulas. So in this video, we will work on building a VAT calculator application using Python modules like Tkinter. Okay. And this will be a bit interesting because what we are going to do is whatever we did in the previous video, the logical part, we are going to implement practically by building a real-time application using Python module, which is really, really interesting. I hope you guys will like and have fun while building that with me. If you guys are new and if you didn't see this, I'm going to link this in the description. Just go there and yeah, go to the previous video and then come here so that you guys can understand what we are doing exactly. If you really want, you can also check out this Python for finance and playlist where we are making a series of videos where people who are interested in learning Python with finances and statistics can come here and learn and implement them in the real world problems. So this is what we did. We created a method called AdVat. And here we just implemented that default formula, whatever that we have, and we just printed that. And this is for remove ad, we did the same. And if you see here, we gave a bunch of choices to the user, like if the user interested in adding that, he can click on one. If he want to remove, he can click on two. If he don't want to do anything, he can just exit out of it by clicking three. If it is out of it, you can just say invalid choice. This is something like that we did. So now we are going to transform this entire logic into the application. So for that, we are going to work on the application. So let me create a file called app.py. If you see here, I just created a file called app.py where we are importing the modules that are related to Tkinter. And here I'm going to use this three colors. One is color zero, which is white. And this is black and this is the dark blue. These are the three colors that I'm going to use. And yeah, here I just created a window with the geometry 370 by 310, which is width and height. And I gave background color white and just give width and height as false. So that design will not mess with you when you're building it. And here you just give style to window and give clamp theme. Okay. And if you give window dot main loop and if you run this one, you will see a blank window. Don't worry, we are going to work on it. But before that, let me show you how the design exactly looks. Okay. If you see here, here, we will ask user to do what kind of operation that he or she want to do. Like, for example, here we have two options, right? One is adding VAT and removing VAT. So if user chooses add VAT here, first, it will ask the VAT. For example, the VAT is 500 and you will also have to add the net value of the product. For example, the net value is 1500. Okay. And if you click on calculate here, it will show you the information like your value added tax is $7,500 and the net price is $1,500 and gross price is 9,000. Like you don't have to worry like how this 7,500, how we got the 7,500 because we already have a default formula. We are just going to implement that default formula. Our job is to just make an application based upon the given logic. If you want to know how this 7,500 got, you just substitute the values in that formula and then you will get it and then you can understand it. Okay. And here you'll be getting, this is the net price. This is the gross price and this is the value added tax. Okay. So this is what we have to do. So in order to do so first, let us focus on this entire layout because we already worked on the logic. What we are going to do is once we completed this entire layout, we are going to implement the logic that we did in the previous video. Guys, if you are really new to this video, I'm saying you again, just go back and go through the concept of this VAT calculator as well, because so that you guys can feel easy with this project. I want you to go back. Okay. The link will be in the description. So yeah, let's begin. Let's work with the layout then. So we just created a window. If you see here, 
a basic window right which looks something like this let's make it colorful so first we'll make two frames one is the up frame and the other is the down frame so just give comments and give frames here and first we'll create up frame so just give up frame and we'll give frame and we the we want this in window so we'll give this in window and we want with uh, let's just give 1043 and we'll give height 60 and we'll give pad y 5 pixels and background color is color 0 which is white and here we'll place it so up frame dot grid we'll give row value 0 and column value 0 done with up frame and now let's also work on with down frame do the same thing we'll just copy this it's better just copy this and edit it everything is same the only difference is placing it in a different place and we'll give row 1 and column 0 and if you want we can also give pad y 0 pad x 0 and we'll give sticky to north south east and west like if you see here this is actually the up frame here we are going to focus on the tax calculator and the logo of it in the frame down or down frame we are going to work with the operations like these things and this entire thing comes under down frame and this comes under up frame that's what it exactly is and here you'll give down frame yeah and this will be down frame and that's it and now it's time to load the image of that logo so what we'll do is we'll create a command called opening image and we'll give app logo image dot open and we have this as an application logo so we'll give icon 2 dot png it's not under any folder so you don't have to worry about the folders now it's directly into this entire like everything is in the same line so you don't have to worry and now it's time to resize it so just give app logo equal to app logo dot resize and we'll give 25 width and 25 height and we'll load it but in order to load we want this image tk module right so that is actually from PIL module so from PIL import image and image tk so from here we are going to use that image tk so just give app logo equal to image tk dot for the image and we will load that app logo here now we are going to create a label so that we can load that image All right so just give app logo equal to label and we need this in up frame so just give up frame and we'll give image equal to app logo and we'll give text equal to 
tax calculator and we'll give width 500 and we'll give compound to left side and relief to raised so that it creates a border, border kind of thing we'll give anchor to northwest and we'll give font which will be Vertana and size will be 15 and we'll give background color to color 0 and foreground color color 1 which is black now it's time to place it so app logo dot place x will be 0 and y will be 0 yeah let's see yeah it looks something like this if you want you can adjust it and play with it okay let me give some space here so that it adjusts with that yeah here i got some space and now it's looking good if you want you can even make it a bit more big you can you know play with those numbers if you want to make it look more attractive okay now we are done with this now it's time to work on these labels and this combo box and entries and calculate button and these things okay let's do it so first we'll work on labels of operation like this operation label what operation do you want to do okay so let me do it labels and here this is a label operation so we'll give label operation equal to here we'll give a label and we want this in down frame so just give down frame here and we'll give text to what operation do you want wanna do what operation do you want to do we'll ask user like that and we'll give a star so that he feels that it's important and we'll give height one and we'll give anchor to northwest and we'll give font this time we'll give iv and size will be 10 we'll give background color to white which is color zero and foreground color to black which is color one and we'll place it so just give l operation dot please we'll give x value 10 and y value 10 yeah this is what we want now it's time to work on the combo right here you'll be getting a combo so let's do it so for that let's create a variable called combo and here combo box and we want this in down frame and just give it to 13 and here we'll give values in that combo so just give combo of values actually this is a list so we'll give this and here first it will be nothing then we'll give option called add that then we'll give option called remove that and then we'll give the default combo value to the first one which will be empty so just give combo dot current 
will be zero. And here we'll place it. So just give combo dot place. Just give x value to sixty and y value eleven. Yeah, it looks something like this. So here you'll be getting this. And you'll be getting this default will be this this is what combo dot current exactly do okay now let's work on one more label called enter the value added tax enter the VAT yeah let's do it so just give label one equal to label and we need this in down frame and just give text equal to enter the value added tax and then we'll give height to one anchor to northwest font same as thus that one which will be iv 10 background color will be white actually we can copy and paste it foreground color will be black we will place this one so just give l1 dot place x value will be 10 and y value will be 40 Play with those numbers guys I played with them a lot and then I got these fixed values and yeah now let's work on entry so just give e1 which is entry so here we'll give entry and we want this in down frame which is this one and we'll give width to 13 and justify center and we'll give relief to solid but before that let me come out of it relief solid and we'll give font iv and size 10 yeah that's it and we will place it so just give e1 dot place x value 260 and y value somewhere 41 here you're not seeing anything right like if you click on this one you will get this option okay before that you will not get so this label will be empty in the beginning this is what i want you guys to know so what we'll do is We'll do the same thing. We'll copy this entire thing. We'll paste it here. And here we'll give nothing. Just an empty text. And here, but instead of L1, it will be L2. And this will be L2 dot place. And this time, the X and Y value changes. So... This time x value will be 10 and y value will be somewhere 70. And this will be e2. And here x value will be 260 and y value will be 71. Now after this we will work on this image okay this icon one image which is this one which is this one okay so yeah let's work on it so in order to do so we have to load calculate icon right just give app image here and we'll open it image dot open will give icon one dot png because that's the icon that we want to load 
instead of that we'll copy this entire thing i guess this will be easy so let me copy this paste it here this will be app image this will be icon one so just copy paste paste and here paste and give size 70 and 70 and here this will be app image now we'll create a label just copy this entire thing and here paste it and this will be just an app so you can give your own name and we'll give image equal to app image this one we want this in down frame so and we'll give text nothing and we don't want this entire thing as well let me remove background color will be zero and foreground color will be black and we'll give anchor to northwest and app dot place x value will be 275 and y value will be 175 and here let's change the height to 400 now if you rerun yeah this is what we actually worked on now let's work on this this one here you'll be having a calculator button and a logo here same something like this so let's load so what we are going to do is we are going to load that image again this image which is app image but in the form of different size so we'll give calculator app for that so just give or you can just copy this entire thing just be careful with the names that you're giving we'll give calculator up here This will be calculator app and this will be calculator app, calculator app and calculator app and here we'll give size to 20 and 20. And now we'll create a button called calculate button. So just give calculate button equal to button. We'll give this in down frame and we'll give image equal to calculator app this one calculator app we'll give compound to left anchor northwest text equal to calculate I'll give some space so that it will not get attached to that logo or icon and we'll give it 91 over relief because it is a button to reach and we'll give font which will be IV and this will be 8 and this will be bold we'll give background color to white which is color 0 and foreground color to color 1 
once you are done with it now we have to place it so just give calculate button dot place we'll give x value 260 and y value 100 yeah this is what we want once we are done with it here you will be seeing four informations like this is the VAT that you gave and this is the net value and gross value everything and the total so we need four labels so let's work on those four labels so let me create and those four labels are actually the results so what we'll do is we'll create a comment this is actually a result so here we'll give label called l1 info so we'll give l1 info label we'll give this in frame down or down frame we'll give it 48 this will be a bit big We'll give text nothing for now because while we are working with the logic we'll give the text we'll give relief to raised we'll give anchor northwest we'll give pad x to 5 and pad y also to 5 we'll give font IV and size 9 and give bold and we'll give background color to the color 2 which is the blue dark blue and foreground color will be white which is color 0 and we'll place it l1 info dot place we'll give x value 10 and y value 150 which looks something like this and here we are going to get two more labels so just copy this and paste it and here this will be l2 info just change the value of y to 180 and here we also have to change the width to 25 yeah we want something like this and one more which will be label 3 this will be label 3 and 4 and here we'll give the value of like 210 yeah this is what we want Now it's time to work on the logic which we did already in the previous video. Now what we'll do is we'll just get that entire exercise code here. So this is the actual entire exercise code. So first let me copy this entire thing. But instead of getting it from instead of getting input from the terminal, what we are doing is we are getting input from the entries instead of showing that in the terminal. We are showing the output in the labels. That's what we are doing. So let's copy this entire thing and go to this application and go after frames and here we'll give logic okay and here we'll paste it and Instead of getting it like this, we will just give even.get which is entry.get and here you'll give e2.get. So just delete this entire thing. e1.get and here 
this will be e2 dot get and the formula will be seen this entire logic will be same and here instead of printing we will give these entire things in labels so here we'll give l1 info l wait l1 info of text equal to instead of print we will delete this entire thing we'll just give that string okay uh, so this will be the string and here here value added tags what is this one and this must be like this and here format of tax that's it you're just going to delete that print function and you're going to do the same thing with l2 info and l3 info so let me delete this first and also this one and also this one here and also this one okay and here we'll give l2 info equal to and this will be l3 info and this is actually off text right so just give off text and this will be off text In the same way we will get this remove that as well so from here we'll get this remove that paste it and same even dot get and here this will be e to dot git okay and done to here and this will be the price everything will be same and here instead of printing we will do the same thing these three things will do anyway so we'll paste it here okay, if you save this one When user selects this combo after getting all these values like here we are getting calculating producing fine but when it have to do when we select the values from combo it have to get how do we know that user selected add that how do we know that user selected remove that that's the reason we have this combo so if you give combo dot get it will get the selected value that user chosen so what we'll do is we'll create one more method called calculate method so just give calculate here and we'll pass this i as parameter i'll let you know why first let me tell you about this function so once you create it just create a variable called option and this will be the value that user selected from that combo so just give combo dot get here and if that option is add what like if option equal to what is the option that you gave here inside combo this one this is the option then This is actually option. Then L two text will be then the label two text will be this label. This label which you gave empty, right? Then you will ask enter the net value of the product if you wanna add VAT. If you wanna remove add, you will ask the gross value of the product. So just give. Adding and removing is completely different, so be careful with it. So here we'll give text 
equal to enter the net value of the product. Check the difference guys. If you are adding VAT, you will ask user two things. One is the value added tax and one is the net value of the product. But when you are removing VAT, you will ask, you will also ask two things. One is value added tax and also the one is gross value. Gross value and net price is completely different. If you want to know the difference between gross and net value, you can just check this formula here itself. In the formula, what you want here? VAT net price and you are calculating gross value here. Here, if you want to remove VAT, you want VAT and gross value so that you, cal you can calculate net price. So that's the difference guys. Okay, that's the reason the second label will change according to the options that user choose. So here if user chooses add VAT, then you'll give L2 of text equal to enter the net value of the product. And you'll give like this. And if user chooses remove VAT, then you will give a different option. You will ask the user the gross value this time. So this time if user chooses remove VAT, And you will give enter the gross value of the product and that's it and if this i is calculate I'll tell you when this i exactly works okay so if that i value is this calculate then if option is add VAT, then we then we will call add VAT and then if option is remove VAT or you can just give else because we just have two options. So if option is add this one. Then here you will call add VAT method, right? Else you will call remove VAT method. Indentation. Okay, this is what you're going to do and from where you're going to get this calculate method from that calculate button. So go to the calculate button where you have and there you are going to create a command with the lambda. So here, right? So we'll give command equal to lambda and we'll give i equal to calculate and you'll give calculate method here here you have to give i now if you run this one and if you see here whenever i select this one it have to show the relevant text right like if i want to add that it have to ask me the net value if i want to remove that then it have to ask me the gross value something like that so we have to connect this calculate method to this combo how can we do that for that there is a method called combo box bind combo dot bind so go to combo box and here just give combo dot bind and inside that you'll give combo selected combo box selected like it will take the selected value and based on that it will show as the pop-up of that text and just give calculate method here and that's it and if you free run this one and now if you select add VAT, it will show us the net value of the product. And if you select 
remove that, it will show us the gross value. And for example, if we give value or tax maybe 100 and just give the gross value 500 and if you click on calculate, it will show your value or tax is 2500 and net price is 2500 and gross value is 5000. Like it will go to that methods and it will calculate all these according to the formulas and then it will show us the values like for example if you give add that here then if you give calculate the outcomes will be different so it depends upon these default formulas everything whatever we did is depending upon these default formulas our job is to build an application which you know satisfies the given conditions of the VAT. that's what so that's what we did so yeah, this is all about the VAT calculator application using Python and here we learned many things. And especially me, I learned how this combo box, how can we connect the combo box to the calculate method. And the interesting thing is these labels, like you can manipulate the labels, you can manipulate everything that you want using Tkinter. I'll be back with one more interesting exercise in the next video. If you guys really want to know more about this Python for Finance playlist, I'm going to tell you again, just go to the playlist, go through each and every video that we posted and from there learn and come back here and continue learning with us. In the next video, I'll be back. And if you're new to this channel and if you still didn't subscribe to this channel, what are you waiting for? Just go there and tap that red button so that you guys will never miss an update from us. And yeah, see you in the next video. And if you like this video, hit that like button as well.